Hey everyone, Bob here. This time around, I would like to give you a lesson regarding to feed raw materials requirement procurement plan. And this is based from the study or the planning that I had in my previous uh, video regarding the poultry business plan, which I had in my first uh, sheets right here. Uh, it's a 2022 poultry production business plan, which I said I'm, I was gonna produce 2,500,000 2, birds or uh, broiler chicken in 10 houses. So I had 10 houses as my assumptions here. Then I said, I'm gonna grow it at 45 days and gonna have a flock of 50,000 crop, five crops per year and total birds uh, to grow per house, okay, and I, I also indicated here all the, the uh, parameters, all the, the uh, requirements to grow the broiler chicken, which is the target liability, DOC means day old chick requirement, feed requirement, contract grower partner, cost to produce, process chicken, etc., and cost. Of, cost of goods sold or cogs. So I was in, I have indicated here the gross revenue and the net profit. So right now I'm gonna proceed our planning skills by doing the requirement on feeds right here, the feeds. So going back to the uh, new sheet, I have, for your convenience, I have already prepared the template here which I said uh, total birds will be produced uh, is 2,000, that we're going to feed is uh, 2,500,000. And uh, the total feeds that we're gonna produce is 10 million uh, kilogram of feeds, okay? So in order for us to be able to feed our uh, broiler chicken, we need to produce our own feeds, okay? Either we're going to have a business partner who owns the uh, the feed mill plant, and then we're just gonna be pay them the uh, the uh, what you call uh, toll processing fee. Uh, we're gonna pay them uh, the fee per bag of uh, of feeds that they're gonna produce for us, or we're gonna build our own uh, feed mill plant and we're gonna produce our own feeds feeds. Okay, okay for the feeds. We need to produce the started crumble feed, the uh, grower crumble feed, and the finisher pellet feed. We're gonna we're gonna do all this uh, 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 requirement, and this is the uh, we're gonna uh, you know we're gonna get the uh, the formulation which I had also prepared earlier, and we're gonna be basing our uh, our planning for the feed production based on the on the uh, based on the feed formulation that we had earlier. Okay, so uh, this is the template that we're gonna use. So we'll see what we're gonna come up with. Okay, let's start with the starter crumble feed. Uh, just we're just gonna get the uh, our, all our ingredients. We're gonna get it from the feed formulation. We start with the uh, starter model, the starter crumble feed. Okay, the maze, and then and then just click it and enter. Okay, we got the maze, and we just uh, pull this down to, in order for us to to uh, copy all the rest of the ingredients that we're gonna use. Okay. Just a disclaimer, um, this, this uh, formulation based on the standard that they're, you know, we're using to, to, to formulate and to uh, produce our own feeds. This is not act the actual, um, you know, the formulation that requires for uh, any, uh, any uh, broiler chicken production uh, requirements for feeds. So, you can you can actually this is based you're gonna actually uh, get your own feeds uh, formulation uh, by having your own uh, nutri nutritionist 
or by by doing your own research and the de product development or research uh, uh, research development uh, program so you're gonna have uh, most likely you're gonna hire a, a nutritionist to you know to to formulate your own uh, feed formulation okay so also at the same time the price per kilogram is not uh, uh, I'm just using this uh, these prices which I had uh, you know which I had uh, I had it from the from the current uh, current prices in the internet or from the Google so you can also have your own prices depending on the the location where you are or your business location or the the region whether you're from the west you're from the from Asia or from Southeast Asia so uh, you know prices could be different so I'm just uh, using this template or these prices in order for us to be able to, you know, to plan our uh, feed raw materials requirement, okay, uh, including the procurement plan of our ingredients or raw materials, okay. So you just utilize this. Uh, you just utilize this uh, uh, template, and then you you use your own uh, whatever price that you get from the market. You use that. You use them. For 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 your own, uh, you know, uh, planning of the feed production. Okay, so for the kilogram formulation, we got it also from feed formulation from a second sheet. So we'll just get this from the from here. Uh, the first one is the maize or the yellow corn. It is sixty one kilogram in the formulation for the starter crumble feed. Okay, then just enter. And then just pull it down to get the rest of the kilogram uh, to get the hundred uh, kilogram uh, formulation. Okay, so these are the share per ingredients. Okay, like for maize, uh, you got sixty one kilogram. For soybean meal, you get eighteen kilogram. For the wheat, oh, some some businesses or some broiler uh, production they use red winter wheat. And most likely they, they get it from the US, get it from Argentina or uh, somewhere else, like also in China. Okay. But most of the time, these are these uh, materials are are imported. You're getting it from overseas, from other countries. Okay. We need to have our percentage for each of the ingredients in the formulation. So we're going to get it. So it's easy. Just uh, divide the, the, uh, kilogram by the, the the total 100 kilogram like that and uh, we're gonna fix it uh, we're gonna put it as a absolute seal reference so we're gonna press the f4 function in your keyboard like that then just enter okay so we can copy it down okay just pull it down all the way down so we get 100 percent one is 100 percent so for the maze we are going to to include uh, 61 percent in our formulation 18 percent for soybean meal uh, uh four percent for the wheat uh, soya bone meal lysine and you know the the most important uh in the regions is that we're getting the the uh the nutrients that we're getting the vitamins and minerals the the cereal the cereal grain is very important in for our uh, broiler uh, chicken feeds the we need also required uh, aside from the uh, from this grain cereal we also need uh, things like protein okay uh, amino acids okay we, that's why we need um, we need to include the the like for example the lysine methionine those are the the uh, the uh, ingredients that we can get the the uh, the important um, you know nutrients like the amino acid or the building blocks of protein you no know? the maize where we're get, getting our starch our proteins our oil you know fats and oil um, b vitamins folic acid or vitamin c and other minerals like phosphorus okay or rather phosphorus, magnesium, manganese, zinc, 
uh, copper, iron, and selenium. Yeah. Okay. So we also have the premix where we're going to, you know, to mix our vitamins and minerals because there are, these are micro materials that we need to, you know, to mix first premix before we mix it. We batch it with other the rest of the uh, ingredients. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the uh, total ingredients. The total ingredient is we're gonna get the volume coming from the poultry business plan, the, the first sheet, okay? So we're gonna be uh, working on the, on the starter feeds. So we're gonna get the volume of the starter feeds. Okay, where is it? Uh, starter feeds kilo in, kilo in terms of kilogram. Total feed requirement kilogram, okay? So what we have is the, this is the total feed kilogram. What we need is the starter, okay? Because we're gonna work on the starter, the next we're gonna work, be working on the grower feed, and then the last one would be the finisher feed. So first thing we're gonna get the, the volume of the, uh, the required uh, uh, weight, total weight of the, Feeds that we're gonna be producing for the the starter feeds. So it's two million five hundred thousand. Okay, that would be our total. Okay, that would be our total ingredients. Okay, two million. But we're gonna, you know, we're gonna. Okay, I'm gonna fix it with the F four, and then I'm gonna multiply it with. Uh, 61 percent. The maize is only 61 percent. Actually, the maize is the biggest chunk of the uh, formulation at 61 percent, and the next one is the soybean meal at 18 percent. So just multiply it by that, 61 percent. Then you have a a total grade ingredients requirement for the maize of 1,525,000. Okay, we can just uh, drag it down to be everything else, all the rest of the ingredients. So the total is 2,500,000 as just like what, what is indicated in the uh, poultry business plan. If you haven't seen my previous uh, video regarding the poultry business plan, I'm gonna attach the, uh, the link of the video in uh, below in the description so that you can watch the poultry business plan planning first before you watch the the feed uh, production planning okay so you understand uh, better okay as uh, you can see i have already included the price per kilogram here of every ingredient so no need to you know so you know for our convenience okay then i'm gonna get the price per ingredient so what would be the price per ingredient just multiply the price per uh, ingredient multiply by the percentage of the uh, ingredients just like that okay in order for us to get the the uh, the price per kilogram of our uh, the feed that we're gonna produce okay just again drag it down so for the to starter crumble feed we're gonna be uh, uh, you know spending 18 point 19 either in pesos or in uh, rupees for every kilogram that are gonna be producing and based on our formulation. Okay, if you're gonna compare it with the commercial price that we used previously in our business poultry plan, like uh, this one, see? Okay, starter price per kilogram is commercial is 36. You know, we're purchasing uh, our feeds from the market, from commercial. So this is the price per kilogram. And the total cost per starter is, uh, for every house is 8,980,000. And the total would be 89,800,000, okay? So we're gonna find out later whether uh, we're gonna be saving money out from producing our own feeds, or, or if we produce our own feeds, we're gonna be more spending more money. Okay, let's find out. Okay, so right now we can see that we're, uh, it looks like that we're uh, saving some money here. Okay, because the, the price 
uh, uh, per ingredient for the total uh, for the formulation is 18.19 per kilogram. And the commercial that we're buying, okay, is 36. But you will say that, okay, the, 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 uh, the overhead is not included here. You know, the production is done. This is only, this only covers the raw materials, the, the cost of the raw materials, okay? But the overhead is minimal also. Like I, I remember previously, I was paying around 15 pesos for, you know, every 50 kilogram bag uh, produced by a business partner, you know, toll, toll processing fee that I was paying. That was 15 years ago. Let's say it was double, let's say 30, 30 uh, pesos right now. Okay. So this is bad. So we're still going to, uh, you know, divide that by 50 because I was paying for the 50 kilogram bag. So, so it, it means uh, paying for the production of the, uh, of the starter feed is only about 0.6 of peso per kilogram. So you add that to the, the, to the 18, that would be still very minimal. So we're really saving some money. We'll find out the total uh, cost later, okay? So for the total cost of the, uh, of the volume that we're producing, you will convert that to money, okay? So that we know how much we're gonna spend or how much we're gonna plan for our financial budget, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do is, we're just multiplying the this one, the price per kilogram, multiply that by the total ingredients. So our, our okay, what I'm gonna do is in order for us to still see the, the first column, I'm gonna freeze that this one, the column, uh, just click the view, then the freeze, and then uh, freeze the one column, okay? So we can go to the right, and still uh, able to see the uh, the first column, okay? So we're having a 19, uh, total cost 19,184,500 for the maize or the yellow corn, okay? Then let's see, we'll, we'll uh, drag it down, okay? So this, the second one, biggest, the biggest chunk of the budget or the cost is soybean meal. And the third one is, uh, 9 million is soya. Uh, which one next? Uh, methionine, the wheat also. Okay. So these are the, so we need a total of 45 million, 471,000, either rupees or pesos to, you know, to prepare to budget for our uh, starter crumble feeds. Okay. Why starter crumble feed? Because uh, st crumble in in uh, in the form of crumble is much um, you know efficient. We don't have much losses in terms of wastage. Uh, you know because you know the chicks, especially the younger ones, you know the first week, uh, first week or first uh, you know the first three days, five days, one week of uh, you know feeding our our chicks. Or our broiler, you know, you know the chicks. They're choosing which one to pick, you know, which one to eat. Uh, usually, they are looking for the yellow corn because the because of the color, it, it's yellow. And you know, you know, if, if it is in mass form, you know, when you are doing a mass production, mass feeds, so it would not be efficient. Okay because there are lots of ingredients are wasted because the chicks are not eating all of these ingredients. Unlike if you're going to pelletize the, the feeds and then crumble it. Okay, pellet is good, but you know, the younger ones, the younger chicks are not able to eat because it's bigger size. So what they, the uh, production, feed production uh, company is doing is, you know, they're, uh, Crumb, they, they, after pelletizing it, and they, the, the feeds, the pellet feeds goes through the, another process, which is the, through the crumb, crumbling machine, the, the crumbler, to, to, you know, to, to minimize the size, you know, to reduce the size rather. See? So that's why we're doing, we're not producing 
But so most of the companies, uh, broiler chicken production companies, they're not uh, okay. They're not feeding their chicks with the uh, the mass feeds anymore. Okay, but you know the swine production or maybe the uh, the uh, cattle production. Okay, they're they're feeding with they're feeding with uh, them with the uh, with the mass feeds and they're mixing it with uh, some uh, you know grass grass feeds okay but in chicken uh, in the case of chicken uh, most of the companies are not uh, using the are not using the mass feed to feed their chicks anymore okay so that's why here in, a, in our starter we use scramble feed okay now we're going to calculate the uh, monthly uh, volume so that we'll be able to this, this this would be the basis of our uh, you know planning the uh, financial budget uh, most of the companies are doing uh, monthly uh, financial budget okay so the getting the volume uh, knowing the volume will be very uh, very uh, important for for us to be able to you know come up for uh, with our uh, monthly ba financial budget so it's easy you just get the total ingredient Okay, that one, then just divide it by 12 months. Then, okay, there was a problem, what's that? Maybe a, okay, 12 months. Okay, all right. So uh, we, we uh, have here, we have indicated 127,083 uh, kilogram of soybean or rather maize per month on the month of January, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, you know, pull it down to get the total of 208,333. The total as per formulation, the total kilogram that we're gonna be producing every month, okay? So this is the, the monthly budget in terms of volume that we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have, we're gonna, for the basis of, uh, you know, our planning for the financial budget, okay? What I'm going to do is, okay, we're going to produce the same uh, amount of volume every month from January to February all the way to December. So we're going to just copy them all the way to December. But we're going to fix the, uh, the cell reference, no? the, the, the ingredients, you know, because we, we get it from the ingredients. Okay, okay we're going to fix that. So the, the cell location was D8. So we're gonna put a, an absolute cell reference there, F4, then enter, okay? Then press F2 for our edit, and then go to the D, D9, then that would be the cell reference, then press F4, enter. Then F2 for edit, go to the cell uh, reference, then press F4 again, that's it. So to the next one, same process. Okay, enter. F2, F4, enter. F2, F4, enter. F2, F4, enter. F2, press F4, then enter. Then the last one would be F4, enter now we'll be able to copy it okay we're gonna pull it pull it all the way to december so that we're gonna have the volume the rest of the months okay it should be the same okay so that should be the same all right the next one would be the cost per month okay what this is the in terms of volume in terms of kilogram okay that we're producing every month so we, we need to find out how much uh, money do we need uh, the cost per month okay it's easy you just multiply the volume any any of the month okay because they have the same volume anyway so no problem so i'm choosing december then multiply that by the the price per kilogram this one so okay so for the maize which is the yellow corn you know in the u.s they uh, they're calling it uh, yellow corn, but in other countries like in Europe, in the Middle East, they're calling it maize. Okay, but it's the same. They also understand. You say yellow corn, they understand. Okay, 
So just pull it down. Pull it down. Okay. So this would be our our budget in terms of uh, the financial budget. Okay. So per month we need to prepare three million seven hundred eighty nine thousand two hundred fifty uh, either pesos or uh, rupees. Okay, for our uh, monthly budget. Okay. Now we're going to be talking about the uh, the inventory. So we need days to last. You know, uh, what is days to last? The the uh, the uh, requirement that we have in the inbound warehouse. We're gonna uh, you know for our stocking requirement, we're gonna stock. Yeah, uh, in terms of how many how many the 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 how many days the the uh, stock where is gonna last before we we're going to procure again no you know make the necessary necessary arrangement for the procurement process okay like the uh, raising of the pr the purchase requisition and then uh, process the approval of the po purchase order and then uh, you know getting the lc what is lc lc is letter of credit this is the you know this is the procedure that we're doing when you are importing materials from overseas from abroad okay if you're purchasing materials from uh, yellow corn for example from the us from argentina from china you need to process the lc letter of credit this is uh this would be a bank to bank uh, transaction okay so we need you know you need you need to consolidate the load okay you don't want to be you know you don't want your load to be underutilized okay you want 100 percent of your load that's why many companies here locally they're doing uh, consolidation load or they are consolidating the load so that the the price you know price per unit will not uh, you know will not go up okay if you are having a, a hundred percent utilization of your load of your cargo yeah let's say for example you're buying yellow corn from abroad then um, you need to fully utilize your 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 cargos your 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 you know your vessels okay so if you are not uh, you don't have enough load to to you maximize your uh, vessel then you have to you know you have to consolidate with other competitors with other integrators so that you will be able to come up with a maximize the load and come up with a hundred percent of the load okay if you're using uh, multi-modal uh, transport like like uh, shipping uh, like uh, use you using the bird barge or using transport uh, land transportation for your uh, you know for your container containerized uh, load okay we need to you know you need uh, some time you need to prepare for the days that uh, days to last for you to be able to you know to come up with your uh, invent inventory so for example you, for the maze you need 90 days okay you have to have a stock of 90 days in your inventory because you need time to to procure materials from overseas you no know? it needs it, it takes time to to get your your materials loaded in the in the ship and then the ship will come to your country and then maybe it will take one month or you know maybe more than a month or two months so you need 90 days for your stock so you don't want disruption of your of your uh, production operation in producing your feeds you don't want disruption because you you run out of of your uh, inventory so you need 90 days inventory or days to last so this is also soybean meal is also imported so you need 90 days for that and soya as well is also 90 days there are four ingredients you need 90 days uh, inventory and for the rest like the bone meal i see in my thing premix salt and others okay you only need 30 days because this is can be uh, you know can be sourced locally uh, domestically you can you can purchase it in local uh, from local dealers so maybe you have uh, accredited dealers you can uh, you can purchase the, the, this uh, materials from them 
So you only you only need to prepare the time for the the processing of the PR, uh, the purchase order, and you don't have to you know to process the LC because it's local. Okay, the LC is only for uh, importation of raw materials. Okay, and from uh, you know getting it from the uh, uh, what they call custom uh, clearance. You know, you have to clear it from the customs in the in the harbor to get your materials, to load your materials to your uh, company inbound warehouse. Okay. And also the premise can be sourced locally or they can be, okay. No need to add this. This is just the inventory days to last. So, so what we're gonna do is in order for us to, to determine our operating capital, we need beginning inventory. So the first, uh, the first time for this year, for example, how much uh, inventory we need in order for us to, to be able to produce our requirement and then wait for another, uh, you know, for the, the buffing, rebuffing of our uh, material to, for the next procurement overseas. So right now we need our beginning inventory. So we're going to find out how much we need. So Okay, just the month uh, volume, we need to multiply that by three months because we need 90 days uh, buffer stock. So that would be three months. Okay, so we'll just copy that the rest of the 90 days, uh, days to last. Okay, for this, you only need 30 days buffer stock. So we only need to copy that here and then you pull this down. Okay. So you need uh, to, to have a stock in terms of the volume, 625,000 in your inbound warehouse, okay? Or in your dry warehouse where you're having your stocks, you know, your raw materials. And maybe in, in bags and poly bags, like for example, remix is in poly bags, but the maize you can have it in bulk, okay? You store it in your uh, silos. Either you have a concrete silos or you have a, what you call steel silos, all right? So now we're gonna determine how much money that we need to, to, to budget for the uh, first quarter uh, procurement or for the, for, the, for the buffing of our stocks in the warehouse, okay? It's easy, you'll just multiply this by the price. So that we know the money in terms of money or price per kilogram. So that this would be our operating capital. Every quarter we need 4,796,125 for the yellow corn, okay? So just pull it down in order for us to get the total. So for the starter crumble feed, we need 11,367,750 oh, money that we need to procure the, the materials for, for the first quarter. And then we need the same money, unless the, you know, the, the prices go up. If the price, price is still uh, the same, no increases or no, or no reduction of prices, then we, we're gonna plan the same amount of money, which is 11 million point uh, three six seven. Okay, for the, just for the starter page, okay? So this is what we need right now. Okay, we're gonna get uh, the requirement for the grower crumble feed. And then next to that is the uh, finisher uh, pellet feed. So that will be able to get the total amount that we need to, to plan for our business in producing our own uh, broiler chicken feeds, okay? So I have for your convenience, for our convenience, I have already prepared I have already transferred the, the formulation from the other sheet and in terms of the kilogram, okay? And also the price. Uh, this was the basis of our poultry business plan in my previous, you know, in my previous video, okay? So grower price per kilogram commercial, that was 35, 36 for the starter and 33 per kilogram for the, for the finisher feeds. So, so in terms of money, money-wise, uh, 
89,000, uh, rather 89 million 800,000. And for the crumb, uh, for the grower, 131 million 700,000. And for the the uh, finisher, 123 million. Okay. Based on commercial uh, price per kilogram, 36, 35, and 33. Okay, let's go back to the feed plan. Okay, that's why here the commercial price per kilogram for the grower Campbell feed is 35 peso or 35 rupees. So let's plan out the ingredients, okay? Uh, what are the ingredients that we are going to plan for? This would be our reference in terms of our planning for the procurement and our financial budget per month. So we're gonna get it from the uh, other sheet, the poultry business plan sheet, which is this one, okay? Or uh, this uh, th 3 million 750, this is the, the uh, grower. Grower total grower feed per uh, kilogram the volume. Okay, we're gonna multiply that by. Uh, we're gonna multiply that by the percentage. This one. Okay, this would be our volume because we're using more uh, maize in our formulation, sixty-seven percent, unlike in the. Starter, we only use 61%. So therefore, in terms of the total ingredients, it's more. Uh, in terms of uh, total uh, kilogram for yellow corn, it's more. Uh, more uh, compared to the maize that we're using for the starter crumble feed. Okay? Just, uh, okay, just, just the same, same uh, steps. Just, okay, what happened? Okay, this is the problem when you are not using the uh, absolute sales reference for the, because the poultry business plan volume of the maize uh, grower crumble feed requirement, we have not, uh, this is coming from just one uh, cell location. So you have to press F4, okay? Okay, so, and then pull it down. Okay, we have the right, uh, okay? 3,750,000, let me check whether it's 3,750,000 uh, kilogram of uh, requirement, okay, of the uh, ingredients, okay, total ingredients based from the um, formulation that we have earlier, okay? So I have already uh, prepared the price per kilogram, so you don't have, you don't have to input that you know, we save time. So we're just going to calculate the price per ingredient. You just multiply that by percentage and that would be 8.43 rupees that we're gonna spend for the maize based on the 67% uh, formulation. And for the and for the soybean meal, we're gonna be, uh, you know, we're gonna be spending 5.46 based on formulation. All these are based on formulation because we multiply this based on the percentage. So the total uh, price per ingredient for the, the, the entire uh, formulation is 16.43 rupees. Okay, compared with 35 rupees. And again, we're saving a lot of money here. Okay, if we produce our own, we, we, you know, we purchase our own raw materials. Okay, we'll talk about the overhead cost later, you know, the, the, the overall cost to produce. Okay, because we're talking about the, the raw materials only here. Okay, the total cost would be the, the uh, total ingredients multiplied by the price. And that would be our total cost. And then what would be our total cost produced? The grower crumble feed is 61 million. This is higher compared to the 45 million of the starter grower, grow, uh, starter crumble feed. Now we're gonna get the the monthly. Uh, well, just the 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 ingredient divided by 12 months. Okay, then okay. Let me move it to the right. That will see much clearer. Okay, then move it down. Okay, just the same. We're gonna fix the. Uh, Absolute seal reference, F4, okay, F2, F4, 
Okay. You have to make sure that this double uh, double uh, dollar sign. Otherwise, you're going to have a, an error also if you only single dollar. Okay, F4. Sometimes you make mistake, you, you delete one of the dollar, then you're going to have error in when you copy it and paste it to another location. Okay, then it's easier if you're doing this way. Okay, it's much quicker if you're doing this way before you paste it to the next, to the other months, to the rest of the months for your monthly, because this would be your basis in, in your financial budget, okay? And then you just pull it, you know, pull it all the way to December, okay? Okay, so we got it right. Then how much would be our cost? They just multiply the month, any, any month we can pick. Then multiply that by price per kilogram. So that would be our cost per month. And then yes, copy it down again. Okay. And then days to last. The maize is again imported. There are okay locally produced maize, and uh, which is for uh, the landed cost. You know the landed cost from the farms, from the farm gate, all the way to your warehouse. That would be the landed cost. It's much cheaper if you purchase it overseas. The landed cost is much higher because of the you know the shipping, uh, the shipping uh, cost that you're going to pay, multimodal transportation cost that you're going to to going to pay. You're going to pay. So, but the problem is in terms of availability. Sometimes you know everybody are you know wants to use uh, maize for their animal feed requirement, or in not only in terms of broiler, but also swine production, you know, beef or cattle production, you know, cow, and maybe goat, or maybe other, uh, any other, and, uh, and the other, uh, you know, animals. So they're also using maize, as well as human consumption, you know, people are also uh, eating the corn during their breakfast or, you know, for their meal. So that's why uh, more, more often than not, we, we run out of stocks locally. That's why most of the time we're also doing, uh, you know, importation of these materials, including the wheat, the soybean, okay? But and in terms of bone meal, there are lots of bone meal local uh, production of bone meal. Bone meal. Uh, bone meal is actually coming from the uh, byproducts. So let's say you're going to debone the broiler chicken, the whole chicken, the frozen, or the fresh chicken. You're going to debone it. You're not gonna, you know, throw away, uh, you know, dispose in the garbage the the bone. You're gonna sell the bone for, uh, you know, they're gonna grind it to, to, you know, to convert it to meal because these bones are going to be mixed with feeds. Not only bone in terms of uh, the, the, not only the bone, but also the feathers, you know, they're grinding it. So feather and bone meal are very useful and they, you know, they are the source of calcium, phosphorus, you know, those uh, minerals. You know, uh, so very important, uh, essential uh, nutrients for your um, feed formulation. Okay, so you can do it, you can, you know, you can purchase it locally and the rest of the, the materials. Okay, only the green, green materials are, are uh, sourced uh, overseas. Okay, now let's just like what we did earlier. Okay, we'll just uh you know the month multiply by three months okay then uh, let me pull it to the right okay then all the rest of the 90 days to last and this one okay just like what we did earlier also okay just transfer it and then again copy it down 
and for our operating capital so that we know how much we need money that we need and just multiply this sorry just multiply that by already suggested e21 what is e21 let me find out okay let me enter it okay e21 what is e21 is that the price if this is the price then that would be okay price per kilogram that's okay okay uh, google sheet is right okay and then pull it down to copy everything else Okay, we're gonna be needing fourteen million four hundred ninety-four thousand three hundred seventy-five rupees to, to to be able to produce our grower grower crumble feed requirement. Okay, it is much higher compared to eleven million three hundred sixty-seven thousand seven hundred fifty of the the uh, starter feed. Now the, the last thing that we're gonna do is the last feed okay we're gonna be producing our last feed so again we're gonna get the poultry it's 32 i don't think that's coming from m32 so i think that was m35 if i'm not mistaken let's find out yeah this one so m35 i was right so google sheet was wrong so what we're gonna do is we're gonna multi uh, we're gonna fix that also f4 then multiply by percentage that one so we need uh two million four hundred seventy five thousand kilogram for the yellow corn for finisher pellet feed requirement okay and then cap it down three same um, yeah, same amount of volume with uh, grower okay so the price per uh, price per ingredient is i think you're wrong so i'm gonna do it myself is yeah this one price per kilogram sorry Okay, I don't want you suggesting me this. It is D34, which is total ingredients, multiplied by E34. I don't think that's correct. Yeah, E34. Okay, that's a correct. Okay. Ah, wrong. That's why I told, I told you. See? Sometimes uh, Google Sheet is suggesting wrong. Price per ingredient is this one. Okay, I'm getting confused now. Okay, this one multiply by percentage. Okay, that's correct. Okay, that's correct now. Okay, I'm gonna pull it down. So, the uh, finisher per, uh, pellet feed per uh, ingredient, the price is higher or compared to the grower crumble feed. So it is 17.52, okay. And then we're gonna get the total cost, which is equal uh, price from total ingredients, that's correct, okay. And then copy it down. Why is this like this? Uh, why it is one million? Uh, price per kilogram, total ingredients. Multiply. Okay, that's okay. That's correct. Okay, so we need 65 million. Okay, now we're gonna find out for the total cost of the uh, the stamp starter crumble feed is 45 million, 61 million for the grower crumble feed, and 65 million for the uh, 
finish your feed. So a total overall, total of 172 million 805. So how much did we have in terms of the, the feed that we bought uh, commercially? I think it was about this one, 344 million. Okay, total feeds, total cost. Uh, because our plan in a poultry business plan, we base it from commercial, so it's this one, right? So that one, yeah, I'll make it bigger. Okay, it's too big. Okay, so let's see how much we save. You minus that by 172 million. So we save half, half of the amount from the commercially purchased uh, feeds. If we produce our feeds, our own feeds. Well, you know, uh, usually overhead is around 9%. So we'll just, we'll just multiply this by times one point, uh, one point what? 9% including the including the direct labor is 1% i'll make it 1.10 so how much is that uh, number all right so let's say the overhead and make it 12 make it bigger so the overhead was, uh, including overhead rather, raw materials plus overhead, which is 10%, 9% overhead and 1% one, 1 uh, uh, the direct labor cost. And that would be 90, 190, okay? So the commercial uh, feeds that we purchase from commercial minus this one, including the overhead, which they are still saving 154 million, okay? Whether you own your uh, feed mill plant, which I have included here, the 10% addition to the head overhead and direct uh, labor cost, still you save money. Even if you, you know, you know, you enter to a business partnership, like somebody own somebody else own, you know some uh, some other company own their uh, feed mill plant, and you're paying the toll processing fee. We are still saving lots of money. That's why it's important that we, you know, we try to produce our own, you know, our own feed requirements. Okay, we produce our own feed requirements, whether it's uh, through um, what you call business partnership, uh, toll processing fee, or you, you know, you uh, build your own pit mill plant, okay? You, the, the only difference there is capital expenditure, the capex. You, you need maybe 100 million, 200 million rupees, you know, to build your plant, depending on the size of the, the size of the uh, pit mill plant. Yeah, 10, 10 metric ton uh, per hour capacity, rated capacity. Or for the 10 houses, we need 10 metric tons per hour capacity. But if you want to double it 20 uh, houses, you're gonna double your, your revenue. And you need 20 tons uh, per hour uh, rated capacity of your uh, feed mill plant, okay? And you put the... Uh, you know, you factor in the uh, the uh, the uh, you know the fixed asset, uh, the uh, uh, depreciation cost. Okay, even if you factor in the depreciation cost, it will still be cheaper. Okay, and it takes five years for payback if you build your own feed mill. Okay, five years is scheduled 100% ROI or return on investment. Okay, it will still be cheaper. Only you have to do is you just prepare maybe equity 40%, maybe 100 million 
the rupees that you're going to, you know, you already own the land. What you need is this capital capital expenditures to, to build your own plant. Okay. So let's see how much uh, per month we need. Total ingredients divided by 12. That would be 206,000 uh, kilogram for the maize for finisher feed requirement. So it would be 312,500 total requirement. Okay, same procedure, same steps. We're gonna fix the F4, uh, F2, press F4, F2, F4, F2, F4, 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 F2, F4 enter f2 f4 enter f2 f4 and enter f2 f4 and enter okay second to the last okay and then the last one then f4 okay then we can now uh you know Drag it to the right all the way to December. That one. And then the cost per month is multiplied by price per kilogram. Enter. This would be your cost per month for the maize material. Okay. You need 5 million uh, per month, 475,359 rupees. As compared to the five million one hundred thirty-five thousand for the uh, grower feeds. Okay, again, let's go to the days to last. This would be ninety days, DTL ninety days, and this one can be locally. In India, there are lots of groundnut cake, brewers dried grain. Oh, this is good source of proteins, and. Uh, you know, proteins, uh, maybe uh, some, some uh, uh, vitamins from this, okay, material. So these are available local uh, production. So we'll just copy all the way down to lysine. These two, methionine and lysine, are a good source for amino acids, you know, the building blocks of protein. Then let's now calculate our beginning in inventory, the uh, month multiplied by three months for our LC processing requirement. It takes some time to, to process. There are only two materials that we have for the finisher, the maize and the soya meal. And all the rest are local, so no problem. You can just transfer this and then copy it down again. Then the money requirement, our budget to for the first quarter for a finisher is that one multiplied by E34. E34 is what? E34 is price per kilogram. Oh, that's correct. Then copy it. Okay, we need 13 million, a little bit lower compared to the, the grower. Okay, the total requirement that we're gonna have is 39 million 600, 691,828 for the, uh, the money wise, you know, the money, the budget that we need for the first quarter, okay? So you just multiply that by, by, uh, four quarters then you get a year plan anyway you don't have to do that because you already have that here total cost so 172 million okay this is the per volume per per month okay so i think that's about it i think i have covered everything uh, in as far as uh you know planning our feed raw materials requirement procurement plan you know we need to plan our volume, the weight in terms of 
tonnage or in terms of kilogram so that we'll be able to come up with budget with money because we are going to budget our own uh, if you're going to produce our own feeds uh, whether via you know via business partnership where somebody owns a feed mill plant and then we just enter into agreement for a toll processing fee and we're still saving money okay if we have the capital we have the equity then we can build our own and we have available land with this uh, it is a, a non-performing asset okay we can utilize our land by putting our own feed mill okay so for you to understand this uh, exercise you need to watch the poultry business planning uh, from the first sheet that we have this one you need to watch this in order for you to uh, because we're we're doing the plan for the poultry uh, the broiler uh, chicken plan then we also do we just did our uh, feed raw materials for our feeds no requirement procurement plan in terms of the volume and in terms of the budget okay so uh, that's all i get for you today I hope you like this uh, presentation, this uh, exercise that we're having. This is actually for your planning skills, okay? To, for your planning skills improvement. Uh, you can use your own uh, data in terms of the price, in terms of your uh, uh, formulation. I'm just giving you a, a template on how you're going to plan for your feed requirement. And that's all I can do to help you out in your, uh, you know, in your uh, planning skills improvement. All right. So if you like it, then please uh, subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of all the updates of my new videos. And thank you for watching.